What's up, everybody? Nox is back here for you another movie review. As promised, I have my dinner. Film those two reviews, or those two videos. Now I'm here to film Better Watch Out, the movie review, or as it's better known, Safe Neighborhood. Because apparently it went through a name change. It premiered at Fantastic Fest in 2016, or 2017, or whatever. Okay. This movie... Okay, you know what? I'll get spoilers. Spoilers. This is basically the plot of the movie that you're given in the trailer. And that you're given in the plot summary. That this is about a babysitter and the boy she is babysitting. Uh, they're just... They're at the house watching a movie, and then all of a sudden people start coming to the house. It's a home invasion movie, apparently. Bull and shit. It's about this kid who stages this fake home invasion with his best friend. And he smacks the babysitter. She falls down the stairs, and she gets knocked out. They tie her up, and now she's being tortured... With the game of truth or dare and other shit like that. Then her boyfriend comes to the door. It's just a big piece of shit. I wanted what I was getting into. I wanted a survival home invasion movie. Kind of kind of like something like The Purge, but in Christmas format. I wanted something that would literally be like, are they going to make it? Is the kid going to make it? Or is the babysitter going to make it? Because I didn't expect either of them to make it in this movie, but this is not what the movie's about. It's not about a home invasion. It's about this kid trying to have sex with his babysitter because she's moving in two days. She's known him since he was eight years old. And now he wants to sleep with her. But instead of this being a home invasion movie, which is what the trailer and the plot summary makes it out to be, this is a babysitter torture movie. And it's not like The Babysitter, which I'm watching next on Netflix. That is actually about the babysitter torturing the boy, I think. Or torturing somebody. This is the person being babysat torturing the babysitter trying to get her to sleep with him. Like, uh, his best friend... And him start playing a truth or dare game with her. He asks her, truth or dare? She says, truth. How many boys have you fucked? I'm like, what? You're freaking 12, kid. You're 12, kid. And she's like 18, 19, 20, 21. Bullshit. She ain't telling you nothing. Except she says, none. And then the best friend says to him, truth or dare... And the kid named Luke, who's being babysat, says, dare. The best friend goes, I dare you to touch her tit. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I wouldn't care if this was a comedy. If this was like a comedy or something. With her not being tied up. If it's like a game of truth or dare at a teen birthday party or a Christmas party or something. Something like that. But this is supposed to be... A house invasion movie, a home invasion movie taking place around the holiday season. And that's not what they give you. They are misleading you to believe something about the movie. The whole entire damn plot. Kind of like what Kingsman the Golden Circle did. And I will get to that. I will get to that shit. Because that kind of pissed me off. But this movie is a piece of shit. I've heard people say, oh, it's so good. I didn't know anything going in. I knew shit about going in. This has the two kids from The Visit. If I'm not mistaken, the same two kids from The Visit. It's a... movie that I expected to be halfway decent or decently good. But instead, I got this... False advertisement that I didn't want. I wanted to see this 
home invasion movie, and I didn't get it, and it pissed me off. This movie, I give Better Watch Out or Safe Neighborhood a big fat fucking F. Stay tuned for my next movie review, which will be for Cruel Intentions or something else. It might be The Babysitter, it might be Cruel Intentions, but those are going to be upcoming reviews. So, fuck this movie. Stay tuned because I got more videos coming to you guys tonight. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm so sorry. Well, you clicked on a stupid thing. But if you did, please like the video, leave a little comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.